Okay, so let's finish up here 7.6 with the radical equations. Um, this is a reasonably challenging problem, but I'll try to help you out here the best that I can with the easiest way to solve this. We have two radicals on this side. Uh, whenever you got two radicals on the same side of an equation you're trying to solve, it's probably best to split them up. Have one on each side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, because this is minus, I'm going to add 2 root x onto the other side. By doing this, I now have a root on this side and a root on that side. Okay. Since this is the square root over here, I can get rid of that square root, right? And I just rewrote those as a half. That's all that I did here, right? Remember, square root is the same as the one-half power. Um, because it's the square root, I'm going to square it to get rid of it on both sides, which means I'm going to square both sides. And the key here is I have to square everything on this side, including that 2 out in front. Well, the square and a half, they cancel out. So on this side, I have a 3x plus 2, which is no problem. And I have to take this 2 through to both items. So that's what I did. This is 2 squared and 2 times x to the half. Well, 2 squared is 4. And a half times 2, that cancels out as well. So actually, I end up with um, 3x plus 2 equals 4x. So from here, not too hard to solve this problem. I need to combine my x's, so I'll subtract 3 on both sides, 3x's. So I have 2 equals x, and your answer is just x equals 2. Uh, so x equals 2 works for this problem. Um, extraneous solutions, when you're solving roots, this is something to keep in mind. Sometimes you get solutions that are not valid, that they don't actually work. So you solve a problem, but it's actually kind of false. The, the problem doesn't actually work. Um, we get some of these from the square roots of x's. Remember, um, they equal negative 1. We get some imaginary uh, numbers there. We can't do that, right? That's not a true answer. There's no way I can square root something and get a negative number. So when we take a look at this example here. Um, solve it like you have been solving every other problem in this uh, section. There's nothing different. Um, I have a root sign, so I'm going to square both sides. Uh, but before I'm doing that, I'm just showing you how I can rewrite 1 half or sorry, square root as 1 half. So now all I need to do is square both sides because that's the opposite. So I end up getting x minus 4 squared. And on this side, the half and the squared cancel out, so all I have left is a 2x. x minus 4 squared is the same as me saying x minus 4 times x minus 4, um, and all that equals 2. So I need to uh, foil this. I need to take x times x and get x squared, x times negative 4 and get negative 4x, negative 4 times x would get negative 4x, and negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16, and bring down that negative 2x. Combine my like terms on this side, and I get x squared, that's a minus 8x plus 16 equals 2x. And since I have an x squared, more than likely, it's a quadratic equation, so why don't I get everything onto one side and try to solve it? So if I subtract a 2x onto both sides, I end up with x squared, minus 10x plus 16 equals 0. So with that in mind, I'm trying to think in my head, are there two numbers that multiply to give you 16 that also add to give you negative 10? Well, there are, right? When we sit here and think about it, we can uh, find that negative uh, 2 and negative 8 both work. Negative 2 times negative 8 is positive 16, and negative 2 plus negative 8 is negative 10. So the point here is um, we can separate each of those uh, and set them equal to 0 to solve. So x minus 2 equals 0. And basically 2 is an answer, and we get 8 as an answer when we separate them, which is no problem, right? Separate both of those. We solve them. You know, still no problem, no big deal. I had 2 to both sides. I had 8 to both sides of that one, right? Simple math here. You guys can do this. We get x equals 2 and x equals 8. But here's the catch. I need to check those solutions to see if they work. Plug a 2 in here. If I plug a 2 in, that's 2 minus 4, and that's 2 times 2 is 4. So I get negative 2 and the square root of 4. The reason I'm telling you this is take a look here. The square root of 4, uh, you get 2. Uh, so the problem is when you square root of 4, it equals a positive 2 as well, and I don't have a positive 2 over here. I only have a negative 2. The point is there's an answer that's not right. I can't square root that and get a negative 2 as my answer. So the point I'm getting at is uh, it's not positive like it's supposed to be. The 8, however, when I check that, 
that's a 16, that's a 4, the square root of 16 is 4, so that actually works. So really the only answer to this problem is 8. Even though a 2 shows up, the 2 doesn't work. So sometimes with these root problems you need to check your answer and make sure that they do actually work. So there's your homework. So take a look at that tonight, and if you have any questions, this is the last section, so that means the test is coming up very shortly. So uh, take a look. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know.